Hi everyone! And today I'll be sharing my dining experience at Soul Bum. And this will also be the last video from the Seoul segment of my December South Korea and Japan trip. And before I start, I just want to say Sobam holds a special place in my heart. It was a beautiful dining experience, made extra memorable because I had some really fun, candid conversation with Chef Om. Okay, back to the specifics. Reservation was made 90 days in advance via email. Advanced planning is definitely required. Soba even manages your expectations on their website. The egg custard is made up of mushroom, brown butter, carrot vinegar, and your egg. Here is second course. The second course is heavier. There is cream cheese and soy sauce pebble on the bottom. And the surrounded one is sweet shrimp. Put the egg into the bowl and after mixing up completely and then put that on crispy mori. Now there isn't many articles about Chef Om of his pre-Sobam days, but I put on my CSI hat and found some information, and I'm hoping it's accurate. So Chef Om found his passion for the culinary arts at an early age. He would be working at hotel kitchens and taking weekend classes at a local culinary school. He eventually left for New York City to train at CIA, after which he got to work at Eleven Medicine Park. And when he went back to Korea, Chef Ong worked at two places before eventually opening his own restaurant Sobom in September 2019. Chef Ong's hometown is Andong, and this is a really important information because when Chef was a kid, he spent a lot of time in the pine forest near his parents' house. And for his restaurant Sobom, Chef Ong drew lots of inspiration from his childhood. His owl for nature guided him with the restaurant's interior decor and his philosophy in food. In the middle, there's the lobster base, the bisque sauce. Thank you. 
is cooked on the charcoal grill and here is dada this is one of the loop vegetables this one is fermented fish sauce the bird was cooked for three days and we got the bird broth Ice cream made with parsley. This is uh, Bali's first uh, it's young leaf and then the second one is beet. It was a great meal. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. The food was meticulously plated and well executed. And Chef Om is clearly influenced by French contemporary cuisine. So even though Korean ingredients were used, the dishes came out more as modern than Korean. And I have a lot of respect for this man. And it's not just about him wanting to deliver a meal that touched our hearts and moved us. But it's also about him wanting to train and groom his team. He shared one of the reasons for moving into a bigger space was because he believed his team is strong now. His team was also growing in numbers and was outgrowing the space. And here are some pictures of Soban version 2.0. Chef mentioned there will be a lounge where customers will enjoy small bites before adjourning to the main dining hall. I really enjoyed my meal at Sobam. And if you are making plans to travel to South Korea, I hope this video will convince you to check them out. Thank you.